All right, I said I would demo this. I've just got this stuck. I'm going to leave it. I don't feel like stopping it. It's too much effort. Everything right now is running on the Korg sync, which is just a gate signal. Um, this is the master clock, 120 beats per minute. I've got the Vulcan new bass, the Vulcan drum, Vulcan sample. Playing a couple things. I'm running it through my Mackie mixer. We've got Posse Man over here on the Yammy. Um, and we've got the fucking Gasio SK-1. I've loaded a very simple sequence into this. I'm going to hit autoplay so it plays the sequence once. <clears throat> it's just that simple piano sequence there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit record here in Audacity, and we're going to hit play on the chord. So now the sequence is being triggered through my trigger over here. Another way you could trip this thing up with uh, the mod box and everything going on the way it triggers and samples. Uh, it's, it's just coming straight out of the SK-1. It's going in a little Mookie over there to add some extra channels, some extra boost. Um, so we're coming into the mixer here. I do have an effect on the Korg. Um, I think we're running, running a flanger. And it's mixed in about 50% with the Korg there.
the, the Yamaha MX-49. That thing's just delicious. <laughs> Love the way that sounds. That. Yeah, that motif inch is something else. I can hear the stereo effect too in that voice. Of course, it's, it's all feeding through my analog stuff over here too. I could record this to tape if I felt like it. My old uh, Sears performance tape recorder, that thing works really good. Got it off eBay for 15 bucks. What is about this switch though man that one that one slaps yeah that's you clipping Yeah, I still gotta work out the clipping every now and then. It's not perfect, but it's close. I converted that to run on USB Type C power. I needed 15 volts input. Type C PD can do that, so it's running on a 35 watt Type C power delivery module with a uh, power delivery chip telling it to get 15 volts for that. And it's running through my old school Relix mixer, which I also use for Photograph record player. It's not a very high end one, but it's a Kenwood old school. Sounds great. It's got a nice car Sure cartridge on it, like an actual Fury Crack cartridge. Sounds awesome. No Cali phones down there. The cards everywhere for it right now. And uh, 
our main recording interface is the M Audio there. Um, I don't use the Mackie's USB recording. I don't like it. It does not record as well as that M Audio one does. So we've got XLR coming out of there, balanced into there, and that's our recording interface. So that's what uh, Audacity is pulling for right now. Yay. This thing takes forever to rewind. <laughs> 